Welcome to the Man Cave Podcast with Dan Casper. All right, let's uh, recap and preview some uh, some busy stuff going on in the uh, in the prep area here, Justin, because we're starting to get closer to some postseason action coming up here, aren't that we? That we are. This will be the final week for uh, prep hockey before mm-hmm. they start playoffs next week, and we got a there'll be a big matchup on Thursday between. Uh, well, they were fourth ranked Memorial and number one Chai High will meet for the second time. This one will be at Hobbs. Chai High got the win in the first matchup there. So mm-hmm. Chai High is another matchup, interesting one too, on Tuesday against New Richmond. And New Richmond was, I believe, the number one team in Division Two. Oh, okay. So that would be kind of neat to see those two matching up in a in a matchup there yeah. before they go their way, separate ways for players. I think for New Richmond, it's probably one of those like get ready for the playoff game, right? That that team will be tough going into Division Two. So yeah, that that we'll get the and Chai High got the number one seed. As that bracket got, it looks oh, it's, pretty pretty awesome to, yeah. if you're a hockey fan, but also really tough. We always joke it's the bracket of death because it's yes. really <laughs> such a tough draw for whoever's in there because it is. It's just so mm-hmm. many talented teams in this area mm-hmm. and teams that know each other so well that. It, it, it's going to be really, really fun to see what ends up coming out of yeah. that. And I think Chai High has a chance, best, as good a chance as anybody to come out of the Memorial, mm-hmm. beating two number one teams. Hudson's always tough. Yeah, He's, and you never know. You never know what the teams, the other teams in there that can come up and, and pull. Because Spash is at the bottom, right, as a two seed in that yeah. bracket too. So, I mean, you, you, Memorial just beat them, and I think Brandon said uh, the only team Chai High lost to was Spash. Spash so yeah, yeah so they do all the math and that and try to figure it out exactly. And, yeah, it's, so it'll be it's gonna be a real fun to see who makes it over to is it Middleton? It's not mm-hmm. like Madison, where right. the Madcaps play <laughs> for for the, for the championship there. Probably some good odds uh, that maybe a couple teams around here, whether it's New Richmond and then maybe some in that bracket yeah. going to going. Oh to yeah, state, I think so. so. Amory's really good team too in Division mm-hmm. Two, and yeah, you got like a team like Rice Lake that plays a D one schedule the whole year, then goes to D two. Yep. We'll see what they can do, make noise. So yeah, yep. there's a lot of teams around here. Ram too. I mean, they make some noise. They did last year. Mm-hmm. Got into the sectional semifinals, I believe. So yeah, let's let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, final week there. Basketball is getting close too. Yep, a couple weeks left here. So girls, are we going to know the the seeds this weekend or early part of next week? Do you I think, think it's early next? week. Don't quote me on that. But okay, it's it's very soon because. Yeah, with hockey already having their brackets out, I think mm-hmm. at the end of the week we'll have seating meetings okay. coming up there. So, And then boys are another week on top of yep. that. So. so a lot of teams, you know, vying for conference titles. A lot mm-hmm. of teams have already clinched conference titles already. You know, you got teams, Elk Mound, girls, still undefeated now, 20-0. and 0. Wow. And uh, Bloomer boys clinched the Cloverbelt West. So, yeah, I mean, there, there's teams. And then the, the Big Rivers has been a battle. Yeah, you know, uh, Eau Claire Memorial unfortunately losing Cooper Jesperson, but still coming back and getting some big wins mm-hmm. last week. You know, River Falls is a talented team; they got the win there. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, yeah, they got the win there, and then um, you take on Hudson, another tough team. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's Ted Brisky's team. Obviously, you lose a talent player like Jesperson, but I there's that team's deep. So I, you yeah. know, I think they can. You know, get the circle the wagons and keep things going there. Because <laughs> he was averaging twenty points per game. Yeah, too, he's wasn't a, he? yeah. immensely talented player, mm-hmm. and obviously you don't want to lose a player like that. But it's not to discount the rest of that team is is talented as well. Now, even if I don't know, this might be a, he's done done for for the year. It it, sounds I like. know that's what it's not the reports of you know having okay. surgery and uh, right on an, I mean, his arm. Arm I it was so yeah, yeah kind of hard to come back from that yeah. this late in the year. So and is he a junior? He's a junior. Okay, so, so he does have his. Yeah, you, know, you don't. You did, if he was a senior, you'd hate the end of your senior, yeah. senior year. So I mean, way, it, it's great that hopefully we get to see him play again. But right, yeah, that Memorial team, it, it, they've been a lot of fun to watch. As has the women, the girls team yeah. for Memorial as well. As they're in a fight for that top spot in the Big Rivers as well with Menominee and Rice Lakes right there as well. So, so for both boys and girls in the BRC, is it still kind of up for grabs uh, for yes. the last couple yep, weeks? Yep, co- it really is. So Man. got some good basketball to be played. It's kind of like playoff basketball. It really oh. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is. I mean, the BRCs, it's going to be tough. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, it'll be fun to see where these teams end up with the draw. And like I said, we're in February now, so we're, you know, wrestling regionals are this weekend. That's right, because conference ones were this past weekend yep. for a lot of teams. So we got re- wrestling regionals, and then you have swimming sectionals. Oh, geez. So, yeah, we're, we're right there getting towards, you know, 
later we get here in February, the more things really, really ramp up in the high school ranks. And I know, you know, to, to go back to, to basketball here quickly, too, uh, like for middle – we still got even like a couple of non-conference games here too. Cause yeah, I think Altoona boys plays Chippewa Falls boys. That, is, that is tomorrow, is that tomorrow if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I got my schedule right here. You have Altoona versus Chai High, so yeah, you got a fun ba- match up there between. Yep. That, those two teams always feel like they meet in the playoffs, <laughs> no matter what. Like Marshall, but get a little yeah. Preview. Marshall and Chippewa Falls always it seems like just mark that up for girls basketball. Yeah, you know, it, uh, yeah, it always seems to happen. So yeah, kind of a fun one going on there. So. Yeah, I, and I think a Lacrosse Central takes on uh, Memorial Girls tonight okay. at six o'clock. If you're planning on going, it's a six o'clock start. So. Nice. All right, it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of going through the the conference standings and such. I mean, to have so much up in the air with the week left, or even two weeks left for for some of these, it it's it's got to feel like that a nice oh, yeah. primer for playoffs to, to get into that to to get ready for the tournament. Dun St. Croix is the same way too. I mean, you got Elk Mound. Durand, Arkansas, Spring Valley, all kind of competing mm-hmm. for that one. Another good non-conference one I wanted to mention one tonight, uh, you got Cameron versus Prescott. Okay. So you, you get a little middle border action there taken mm-hmm. on the heart of the north, and Cameron, both those teams have played very well, so that should be an interesting one to see. Absolutely. Uh, college-wise, so I know the Blue Golds, uh, a little bit of a rough weekend on the basketball courts. Uh, they fell to uh, Oshkosh, both, yep. both teams over there. Stout, though, that girls' team, Big win against Whitewater. Yeah, over the that weekend. that team, I you know, kind of saw them play last week against Point, mm-hmm. and they looked like a different team than what the team I had seen them play against Eau Claire a couple weeks earlier. I think everything. I think the healthier, mm-hmm. and I think you could see it. They they were moving the ball well. The communication was there. So that was a team that was ranked I think tenth at one point yeah. in D three hoops. Yep, pull. So that's a team you know has the talent. So for them, for Hannah's team to start. Clicking at the right time. Yep. Obviously, they still got to win some games because they were. I think they're now they're pretty secure in the field, but mm-hmm. you can't have a letdown. Right. And they, and you end up with the Blue Golds and Blue Devils matchup on Saturday, so it'll be Stout coming here mm-hmm. to Eau Claire for two games, doubleheader. The doubleheader. Right. Yep. So those are there's big games, and they got lacrosse on Wednesday. Mm. So wow. Yeah, some kind of rivalry week there if you look at it for. Uh, for those uh, WIC teams, yeah, um, and then I know you know. Speaking of rivalry week, the men's team and uh, for for hockey tying up with River Falls, yeah, uh, and then you got the the women's going at it uh, in a couple of days here for for hockey. Yeah, on Wednesday, on Wednesday. Uh, a little Wednesday match up there in the middle of the week against. I mean, that is, I think I talk about it all the time, but that is one of the better rivalries you'll see, especially in women's hockey. Is mm-hmm. is that old Claire River Falls every year since for the last seven years probably at this point yeah they've been battling for that conference title and, and it seems like it's like a battle also on the recruiting trail because they got to be recruiting a lot of the same players right. for yep. that yeah so i mean it, it's one of those where for the blue golds probably right now need it more than river falls does in the fact that i think in the latest pairwise rankings they were one of the first three teams out mm, okay if so beat them if you it, or it, it mainly comes down to you want to win either the regular season title mm-hmm. and make you know have them looking at you because you won the regular season title, or you're going to have to make the run for a conference title because there's no automatic qualifier. Right. So for the Blue Golds, every game is huge. I think it's amplified even more. I think River Falls because they've been number one in the conference for how long? Right. Undefeated. That it, they're probably fine. Mm-hmm. But I think. For the Blue Golds, you almost have to come into this. This is playoff mentality for all these remaining games because you're playing to get into the NCAA tournament. Right, exactly. Uh, back to, to basketball here because it seems like this Blue Gold men's team is so close to a lot of these oh, games. They, I mean, just yeah. was it last week against Platteville? They were so close. I mean, that's a top 10 team. Yeah. Platteville, 14, I think there's something like that. A top 20 team that right. they were right there. And they've been right there. It's just been the end of games. Mm-hmm. It, closing out games, have been, it, it's just been hard. I think. The talented group, and it's just you know, it's hard because you you know you, you get to know these kids, and you know they they want it so badly. Yep, and they're so close; it just hasn't happened. So we'll see. I mean, you got a stout rivalry matchup at the end of the week. You got lacrosse, another tough team too. Yeah. So let's see if they can you know turn it around. And I feel like if you can get one done at this point, I don't think you can make the conference tournament anyway. So it's mm-hmm. now it's just a lot of bragging rights. Now you want to get right. 
Yep, exactly. So I know wrestling had their Don Parker open this past weekend. They don't do team results there, but a lot of individual yep. uh, standouts. And they've got one more uh, dual meet coming up against your pointers. Your point? yeah, my uh, pointers. <laughs> on the, uh, at the don't end of the tell week. them that. Don't tell them about wrestling. Them my <laughs> <Right>? point. <laughs> you're alum. Uh, you're, you're a former university over there. But uh, then, you know, the expectations, I think, are going to be incredibly high yeah. heading into NCAAs right after that because that's their final one coming up this Friday. So. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, well, you were talking about this last week with the Nationals being in lacrosse. Yep. You want to – be close to home and have a chance to go down there. So mm-hmm. I want to give you. We were talking about rivalries. Quick, like Thursday, it's like the perfect like rivalry. You got Chippewa Falls Memorial. Uh you have North Memorial girls basketball. Oh jeez. You got McDonald Regis. Oh boy. Girls basketball as well, <laughs> and then you got Colfax Elk Mound. Okay. Boys basketball. So all those and Wolves Bucks. Wolves Bucks. That's right. On Thursday. Yep. Look so at that, that that's that's I mean, like it's kind of just like perfectly. I think you know my theme will be that night. It'll be yeah. rivalry night. Well, can I throw one more? In? Oh, that's Thursday though. I was gonna say for this weekend, there's another one too. It's uh, if you want to do like blue gold track and field lacrosse invite. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Where I found out a couple weeks ago, we had uh, Chip Schneider on for the rolling with the goals podcast. You're not allowed to say lacrosse. I don't know if you noticed. I was not allowed to say lacrosse. Oh wow. Yeah. I got I was because I mentioned you know I'm like oh you went to you coach the lacrosse we don't talk about that we don't we don't mention that <laughs> I'm like okay yeah. I'm like I love it though I do, yeah that, that rivalry you get that, right yep, there get that motivation yep so I was like all right there we go so <laughs> <laughs> the more you know now so don't say that in front of coach nope <laughs> no chance yep but uh, yeah and then I mean well you mentioned that Thursday if you add in basketball with the the rivalry with Stout too I mean this whole week yeah oh it is weekend, it's kind of like rivalry a, week yeah it really does have that feel to it so yeah it'll be fun a lot of good stuff to, to catch in catch in action for sure so uh hockey yep as you mentioned final week oh the game. men's team we didn't even say they, they play Stout too oh yeah <laughs> absolutely <laughs> for two so. games so big had a big weekend mm-hmm. you know, getting the win and then a tie and get another point against River Falls still sitting right there mm-hmm. with points Yep. That point would have to get upset, but those those wins by point earlier in the season are really kind of yeah. benefiting them right now. It seems like well, and even on Friday night, Northland had the lead one nothing. I think with four minutes to go in the third period, and you're like, oh, if this would be Northland pulls off this upset of point and then point scored and then point scored in like the final minute. I mean, that was almost that close to Eau Claire yeah. hopping. I think they would have been a say. I think they're two points back, mm-hmm. so they would have been a tie. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that just tells you, I mean, how close it is in this Blue Golds team playing some good hockey here towards as we head towards playoff. And again, that's an automatic qualifier in the mm-hmm. conference tournament there. So we'll a lot see. of good stuff happening right yes. now. So all right, big thanks to JC for breaking that down.